We've had some time delving deep into the Android 11 previews and the Android 11 betas over the past few months. And now that the full release is here, we're going to dive even deeper and share every new feature and change we found in Android 11, one of the most anticipated releases of the world's most popular mobile OS. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. While there are more than just cosmetic changes abound in Android 11, we'll just be focusing on the end user facing updates, but that does include a very few very easily accessible developer options too. There are plenty of under the hood improvements that will undoubtedly enhance your overall experience, but they can be much harder to pinpoint or define just how they benefit your day to day experience. But without any further ado, here's everything new in Android 11. A previous Pixel feature drop saw cards and passes come to Google Pixel hardware, but Android 11 enhances the pop-up menu when pressing and holding the power button on your lock screen or anywhere else for that matter. Alongside your credit and reward cards, quick access to all of your smart home tech connected to the Google Assistant is now visible from this enhanced power menu. No longer are you bound by annoying disorganized controls in the notification shade, as part of the media resumption portion of Android 11, universal media controls now live in your notification toggle section. The lock screen media player now has some very minor design updates for greater prominence. It also removes the popular album art when media is playing. The volume or sound pop-up is now more compact with added icons and extra flair. Android 11 now lets you mark messaging applications as conversations within the notification shade for a quicker access subgroup that gives you more prominent access. A settings menu subsection now lets you manage and view your entire device notification history, including a detailed application based history of what and who you've received notifications for and from. During initial device setup, you will be guided through just how to use and activate the gesture control method, which was originally introduced in Android 10. It wouldn't be another Android release without an Easter egg and the Neko Cat Easter egg from way back in Android Nougat has returned, but with a slight twist. We have done a full video on this if you do want to check out just how to enjoy the Android 11 Easter egg. When using the Google camera application, file size limits are now removed in higher resolution recording formats, including 1080p and 4K. Applications are now able to use floating UI bubbles in a manner similar to Facebook Messenger, some of the applications that can utilize notification bubbles include Google Messages. Thanks to gesture sensitivity adjustments, you can now independently adjust the sensitivity for both sides of your display or individual sides when using the navigation method. Select text or quickly take a screenshot from the app switcher view without needing to open an application thanks to recent panel screenshot and select buttons. Wireless debugging can be enabled within developer options, allowing you to connect without plugging into your PC or laptop directly. Within developer options, you can now enable an upper left refresh rate icon that can be toggled to show frame rate dips across the entire Android OS. The built in screen recorder is a long awaited feature that might even be so late people have stopped caring, but you can now record your screen, audio and microphone without needing to use a third party application and there's even a notification shade toggle. When connected to Bluetooth devices such as headphones and speakers, toggling AirPlay mode will no longer disconnect these devices instantly. Within developer options, you can now check just what Bluetooth codecs your earbuds or headphones support when connected. When taking a screenshot, you'll get a new smaller pop-up UI with preview and shortcuts to quickly share or edit an image rather than having to head to your notification shade. Unfortunately, there is no scrolling screenshot option live in Android 11 just yet. When dock predictions are enabled within Pixel Launcher settings, your device will predict applications and then place them in your dock based upon recent app usage. Android 11 introduces the ability to grant applications access to hardware or data on just one occasion for greater privacy controls. When you've accepted app permissions and haven't used an application for a while, they'll be reset until you relaunch the application. That said, this can be disabled on an app by app basis within the settings application. When viewing videos in picture in picture, 
you can grab and resize any of these floating videos on your home screen by tapping, holding and dragging the upper left corner of the video player. When lockdown mode is enabled within the power menu, this will now appear as a floating menu for you to restart or power off your device. Media controls can be swiped away within the notification toggle section. This will hide playing media until you interact or fully expand the notification shade again. As part of the redesigned sound pop-up panel, you can now control device or indeed system volume. To better improve Wi-Fi connections, an auto connect option is now available within the Wi-Fi settings alongside a direct disconnect toggle if you do want to leave a network. Emergency alerts are now available in Spanish and not just English. On top of that, wireless emergency alerts can now be added to the exceptions within the do not disturb settings. A powerful accessibility tool in Android 11 voice access has been improved to the point where it can actually understand screen context, meaning the number grid navigation is gone in favor of much more accurate context aware controls. The selection button for when media is playing has been streamlined to help you quickly choose where audio plays and the volume levels of each of those devices. Previously, playing media can be resumed from the quick settings panel or disabled entirely within the settings application. Auto filling passwords and account details is now possible in Android 11 directly from your keyboard. It currently works with Gboard with more developers able to implement the feature in future. Android 11 also now lets you connect wirelessly to compatible cars with Android Auto. No cables means no potential issues. As part of bedtime mode, you can now choose to disable the always on display on your Pixel device at night. When using a wireless charger, you'll get a very brief pop up on your lock screen if your device isn't quite aligned correctly on said charger with compatible Pixel devices. Three new icons are joining the preset theming options within Pixel themes, including a ticket stub, misshapen circle and an octagon. The spacing in the notification shade has been increased with much more space and prominence between sections and notification groups. Say hello to 117 brand new emoji plus some redesigned originals and return to some of those classic designs. The Force 90 Hz option which was available as part of the Pixel 4 is now called Smooth Display and is a direct toggle rather than a sub menu option. Now Playing has now gained a new musical note icon which replaces the worded toggle from Android 10 allowing you to quickly view all of your recently listened to music. When tapping the play pause button on playing media, you might now notice a ripple animation or glow effect to denote activation of media controls. As part of Android 11, your selected wallpaper will now have a minor parallax effect when opening your app drawer or swiping down into the notification shade. Icons and menu options within the settings menu now have a slightly larger look with added color, giving them greater prominence. The volume menu that allows you to adjust sound of particular devices has now simply been renamed to sound. When sharing an item, the chips or buttons within this sheet will appear with colored icons for copy and nearby share instead of the more flat and monotone versions of Android 10. So that is every new user facing feature and change that you'll likely see or encounter in the full release of Android 11 for Google Pixel and selected OnePlus, Oppo, Xiaomi and Realme phones. If you have been enrolled in the previous Android 11 beta program, already know the new features inside and out or have used them to death, then let us know your favorites down in the comment section below. Also, conversely, what would you like to see from Android 12 now that the full fat red velvet cake has been served with plenty of icing on top? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. But as always, this is Damien with 95Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.